So Vanden across the world uses one simple process for sampling regrinds to ensure our customers end up with the material that we've presented to them and it's accurate and it's representative of the stock that you've got here. And that's one of the key things, always represent your stock accurately. So we're gonna sample at least 80% of these bags. We're gonna sample them in from the top, the middle and the bottom and I'm gonna show you very quickly how you do it. So the first thing is, you're gonna open all the tops of the bag and you're gonna take a photograph from the top showing all the regrind. Then you're gonna take some samples from the, from the top of that bag. I'm even gonna label that with a black texter so I know that this is the top of a bag. What I do is I put a small number on the bag here like this. And then I put that number in there too, just like that. So I know bag number one, it's just my own reference number. And then we're gonna use what's known as a probe to probe into the side of the bag here in the middle and then down the bottom as well. And if you have a look at the end, the way I cut this probe, it's cut almost like a triangle. And the reason is, is so when I stab that bag, when we pull the probe out, it actually doesn't leave a big hole there and it stops the regrind falling out. So let's start sampling. Okay, keep your hand on the end, because as soon as you start to move that, as you can see, light movements, we've got regrind that comes out. End of the probe into the bag. And have a look at this. Now, I will guarantee there'll be some people who are far better at this action than many others. So you can see there, we've got quarter of a bag. There's no regrind going on the floor. Um, again, I'm gonna take my texter. Um, and this is the middle, I'll mark it with an M and just put bag number one on it. There you go, the middle of the bag sealed off. Now we hit the bottom of the bag. So some of the things that we're looking for on regrind is if you just get up close there, you can see some of the dust particles in here. If there is dust in there, if there's other impurities in there, the other things that you're looking for to ensure the overall load is consistent. So now again, we've stopped sampling on the bottom. We're gonna seal this bag up. I'm just gonna write bottom here. I'm gonna cover that up with this duct tape. Now we've collected all the samples, it's off to go and do some material testing. And the next process that we use is the sink float test. And for those of you who haven't seen it, jump over and check that video out on the YouTube channel. And we hope this has been helpful to you.